Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense, back with my friend Tommy from Studio Sense. Hey guys. Link in the description to his channel. Make sure to check that out. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Paco Rabanne Invictus, the line of Invictus fragrances that I own. We're gonna run through them, give our thoughts a little bit on each one, give some alternatives to the Invictus line, and then also rank them five to one, at least the ones that I own, in terms of which ones we like the least, to the most. Awesome, awesome. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's jump right into it. So, like I said, guys, five different fragrances in the Invictus line that we're gonna be talking about today. I don't have Invictus Onyx, the new collector's edition, so that one is not going to be included here today. We've got, first off, Invictus, 2013 the original the og yeah and this is a big bottle it's like uh half empty half empty <laughs> yeah and then it's very popular yeah invictus aqua 2016 we have invictus aqua 2018 so both of the aquas invictus intense which was uh 2016 and then invictus legend yeah this one came out last year 2019 so those are the ones that we're gonna run through here today. Awesome. So first off, we'll just talk about the OG Invictus from 2013. So this one was a big release. Yes, it was. And this was featured on my most important releases or biggest releases of the past decade video because after Invictus came out, you had so many different fragrances that had the Invictus DNA in it, where you would smell it and be like, oh, it smells like they were inspired by Invictus when they made this, because it's got that kind of bubblegummy sweetness. It's got a lot of performance, a lot of projection. It draws attention, gets compliments, all that stuff. Yes, a lot of things about it that definitely wanted to be replicated. Of course, Invictus is the Latin word for invincible, which is appropriate for this. It is a huge release and it's impacted the industry as Ash is talking about a lot of fragrances try to replicate it. Have they been successful? It's kind of what we're gonna be talking about a little bit. Yeah, some, some fragrances more so than others, mm -hmm. I think. And a lot of that is just because of how successful this one is, like how much it's sold. And these other brands, these other companies see this fragrance just moving bottle after bottle after bottle. And kind of like with Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel, these other houses see that and they're like, they yeah, know. give me a little piece of that pie, exactly. <laughs> that Invictus pie. So this one was an enormous release for those mm -hmm. reasons, especially popular with younger guys oh, yes. because of that sweetness. So big club fragrance. Became a huge club You know, fragrance. going out to a bar, uh, going out on a date, potentially a night out kind of fragrance, even casual situations, it really crushes it. Uh, again, especially for younger guys out there, you know, teenage up through like middle age, basically. Seriously, six months after its release, it was hard to go, you know, go into your mall or into any social gathering and not smell that DNA somewhere. Somebody had it on for sure. Yeah, yeah. My brother actually, that was his uh, signature, signature scent. scent. Yeah, yeah, as soon as that was released, he guys. went, paid uh, full retail for it at the oh, mall, yeah. the local mall, and wore the heck out of it. Drained the bottle, bought another one, and it was like that for a lot of guys. Oh, yeah. So, absolutely. So, this one has uh, grapefruit, C notes. It says ambergris. It's really like ambroxan, ambroxan, you know, there's not actual ambergris in here. There's also um, orange and jasmine or hideone in there. And so it's going to give you that citrusy, sea salty kind of vibe with some warm uh, pop from that ambroxan in there as well. And it, like I said, it's got that bubblegummy kind of vibe yes, to it. Yes, it does. And then next up, we'll talk about this one. This is Invictus Aqua 2016. Sprayed it out for you if you want to check that one out and kind of re uh, re up on yeah, the fragrance. Yeah, absolutely. No, it's uh, awesome. It's definitely the, the same DNA, definitely more aquatic, thus uh, aqua. This actually quickly became a, uh, my favorite out of the two, mm -hmm. just because I, I, there's something a, a little more subtle about the A little the more profile. versatile. Definitely more versatile. Yeah. And took a little bit away from that bubblegum sweetness, a little which bit. kind of opened it up a little bit less linear. 
mm. uh, which gave it the versatility. I yeah, so. yeah. This one was a tester, which is why it says Aqua okay. on the front. So if you bought this with the the full presentation and everything, you wouldn't have the Aqua on there. So in case any of you are wondering, that's why it says Aqua. That's this why. was a tester bottle. Actually, it says right on the back. Tester. Tester. Yeah. So this one came out in 2016. Was a big hit, especially in the community. People thought this was basically an improvement in every way, shape, and form over the original. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of people thought, again, more versatile, uh, higher complement factor, easier to wear, all that stuff that you had mentioned. That's what they dug about this one and it was making top 10 lists all over the place. And then Paco Rabanne discontinued it. Yes. <laughs> so it was As one of those- want to do. Yeah, it was one of those situations with the limited edition where it actually was limited. Because mm. a lot of times you'll see yeah, limited edition fragrance and everybody's like, oh my God, and they buy it up. And then 10 years later, it's still for sale. Right, and it's right. like, well, is like this, this never went away. This isn't really limited. That one chipped. actually was. That one actually was. And then everybody liked it so much and wanted it. And they brought it back Re as Invictus Aqua 2018. And it's not the exact same. It's not the exact same. It's, I like it. Like a lot of fragrances, like a lot of flankers are, are trying to modernize so it does have that like that kind of a bright modernized spin to it mm -hmm. it has amber wood in it the amber wood does definitely br yeah. brighten it up a little bit and so both of the invictus aquas had amber wood okay. which has become super popular super i've popular. talked about it a lot on the channel it's like uh ambroxan with right. more of a woody feel yes and um that's again super ultra simplistic way of breaking it down but if you want to google it you can get more info but that has amber wood so does 2016. 2016 has uh, yuzu in it. Okay. So the citrus yuzu. in there is yuzu. It's gonna give you a little bit of a different vibe than your more typical like bergamot or grapefruit or lemon, orange, whatever. Right. So that's one of the big differences between Invictus and Invictus Aqua 2016 is that, that yuzu in the opening is very well done and there's also violet in there as well. It's, I don't know, it's hard for me to pick a favorite between the two. Between think, 2018, 2018 and 2016? 2016, yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of. I like the modern spin of it. I'm all about the original, but I like the modern spin. Hmm. I think there's a place for both of them. Actually, I don't think it has to be either or. Nowadays, Nowadays. it you know the 2016 is going to be more difficult to find yeah. because of the discontinuation. People are going to ask jacked up prices. So if you're buying it now and you you know you don't want to spend extra money, then the 18 is basically your only bet there but right and then we've also got this one Invictus Intense this one was from 2016 so this one takes the Invictus DNA darkens it up a little bit it does it's got amber in there it has uh, whiskey so it's got a little bit of a boozy note yeah. and it still retains that Invictus DNA just kind of takes it and reimagines it a little bit for like fall time there you go instead of a uh, spring or summer clubbing fragrance <laughs> yeah something like that yeah, yeah. No, it does definitely still have that appeal, that Invictus appeal. Uh, but if you do like the darker, a little bit more complex, boozier fragrances, this is awesome for that great fall and winter. Yeah, so that's Invictus Intense. It, it takes that DNA and, like I said, just darkens it up a little bit, adds a boozy note in there, uh, adds the, the amber, which is going to give you that little bit of rich sweetness. Yes. And uh, it, it still has... It up quite a bit. Yeah, it still has some of that, that bubble gum in there but to me, not as much as in no, the original. No, it's definitely not the focus of it. It definitely yeah. changes the focus. And then the newest one that I have here is this one, Invictus Legend. This one came out 2019, and I have reviewed this fragrance. This one also has amber. It's got sea notes. It's got sea salt. It's got um, bay leaf, grapefruit. The mm. other things that you expect to find in Invictus, the original, and in Invictus Aqua for the most part. Only super citrusy, super aquatic. I really like it. It's almost like an intense version of Aqua. It's really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. It's like got it. some similarities to to Aqua, the Invictus Aqua, and it's going to be used in pretty much the same situations. Uh, maybe a little more, a little more depth to it than Aqua for me, but uh, yeah. a little bit more formal. Not necessarily in terms of formal wear, but it just yeah. seems to be a little bit more refined. Yeah, I'm not sure any of the Invictus fragrances are like formal formal. No, no definitely <laughs> you know? not. It's not like uh, you're going to get dressed up in a tux and be like, let no. me spray this extremely <laughs> sweet, overpowering club fragrance on and just go crush these fools. Which I guess maybe you could do that you if you wanted that. to. Yeah, yeah everybody's going to have like uh, Guerlain and stuff on and you're just like, nah, bro, I'm going full Invictus. Full 007. <laughs> yeah. 
No, but it's just refined in in so far as it just seems to be I don't know a little bit more sophisticated probably that's the better word refined sophisticated not formal yeah <laughs> formal wear like I was talking about before there are lots of alternatives for Invictus way too many that I could mention here I'm not just gonna run through 50 plus fragrances um, some of the more well-known ones are Zara Wanted uh, the one Wanted. that comes in the little awesome one yeah all-time favorite the little fragrance. gun looking bottle mm -hmm. yeah that one I actually prefer wanted to invictus oh do you yeah yeah, yeah. like the that. original invictus I if i put that. wanted right up next to it they have similarities obviously but i think wanted overall is a better fragrance the thing about wanted is you forget how good it is like when you wear other fragrances and you come back to it it's amazing you're like oh wow i forgot wanted wanted and wanted by night wanted by night Great. really good yeah wanted by night not similar to invictus but no. just uh, a good fragrance great yeah and those ones aren't all that expensive no not so at all. you can get those cheaper than invictus 35 dollar 40 dollar range yeah and then there's a rasasi hawas gets talked about a lot um that one is a really good alternative made by obviously rasasi who's known for uh la Yukawam, which is a tuscan leather clone so Rasasi he makes some really high-end clones yes. and Hawass is one of the, the more well-respected ones out there. And then you've got fragrances coming out that aren't direct alternatives, I would say, but they have that similar DNA. Okay. So stuff Super like wild. Davidoff, Run Wild, even Aqua de Joe Absolu, when that came out, mm -hmm. people were like, oh, similar to Invictus. Yeah. Uh, Valentino Womo, Born in Roma, a little bit of that Invictus vibe. Dunhill Icon Racing, a little bit of that Invictus vibe. And that's what I was talking about before, where there are all these fragrances that take inspiration from Invictus without being direct, direct clones, clones exactly, of Invictus. Exactly. Yeah. Invariably, that's going to happen when you get a fragrance that becomes this popular. Mm -hmm. You're going to smell it in so many different fragrances because yeah. they're trying to not necessarily copy that particular, the essence of that fragrance, but just the, the profile, the scent profile. The yeah. DNA. Yeah. They're trying to, again, kind of weasel their way into that pie right, and that fine line, get yeah. some of that. Yeah. Some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Invictus Aqua. The most well-known cheap alternative probably is Legend Spirit mm -hmm. by Mont Blanc, which you can pick awesome. up for like in the $25 range yeah. usually, I think. Yeah, that was in my top top 10 of uh, spring and summer fragrances. So Yeah, awesome. yeah. so that one is a good alternative to Invictus Aqua. That's not really going to cost all that much. Uh, and if you really dig deep into it, there are so many fragrances out there that are similar in ways to Invictus. Uh, too many to talk about, but those are just a few of the more popular ones yes. out there. Let's go ahead and, and rank these as far as what we feel like are the best and the worst of the Invictus line. So we'll start with, with number five. So the one out of these will say that you would least like to wear or own. We'll, we'll just judge it that way. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be bad. Like you don't have to dislike number five or anything. It's just this is out of these, which one you think uh, you would pass on. Um, probably the one that I would least like to wear, and that's by no means saying I don't like it, would be this guy right here. Just because it's been done and done and, and done. Invictus and Aqua Invictus 2018. 2018, yeah, this is the, the 2018. I, I do, I like it, it's pleasant, um, but I, you know, comparably it's not one that's that's super unique hmm. to me, so. And then but, let's just, you, you run through them and then I'll run through okay. mine, I guess. All so right. uh, number four for you. Number four for me, would uh it's gonna be number four original yep, yep original yep. Mm -hmm. and going down number three number for three me, yep. number three for me would be aqua 16, 16. the original aqua yep number two we're down be, between intense and legend i'm telling you it's really hard <laughs> intense uh, number two number two and that leaves only one left and obviously legend so really dig it yeah so me. so of these legend is your favorite yes. so from uh the one that you like the most to least it's legend intense and then aqua 16 original aqua 18. that's it yep. okay cool okay so for me probably the original invictus is my my least favorite of the bunch and uh, when my brother was wearing the heck out of this, I was like, ah, it's okay. It's just, I never really dug it. Yeah. Yeah. When it came out and that DNA blew up, I mean, I understand why it's popular. I get it. 
I, it's a big compliment puller, but I just never really liked it all that much. Yeah. So the original for me is my least favorite. Makes sense. And then um, after that would be Invictus Hawk, what, 18? I don't think that it's horrible, but I think that it's not as good as 16. And I think that Invictus Legend is better. <laughs> so they they cross over a lot. Like you'd use them in a lot of the same situations. Right. And so for me, if I were gonna have one of those, I would pick Legend. So it's kind of like, you know, if, if they're used in all the same situations for the most part, similar DNA, obviously, you know, why go for that one right. if the other one's better? After that, yeah would be this one, okay. Invictus Intense. Uh, I think it's an improvement, obviously, on the original Invictus. I like the little bit of booziness that they put in there. I like that it doesn't focus as much on the bubblegummy exactly. side of things. And after that, it would be this one, Legend. I think that this is a, a solid release. Yes. Not super in love with it, but that's just because the Invictus line is not my favorite line of all <laughs> right. time. Now, it does have uses, obviously. Big compliment puller, uh, versatility, especially in spring and summer. Uh, could wear it in fall as well. And I think it's an improvement over most of all the other ones in the line. And improvement then, in longevity. Too. Yeah, and my favorite Invictus Aqua 16. The issue here is that this one discontinued, you pain in the butt. Hard to find. Yeah, people are gonna try to charge you too much on too this, much most sure. likely. And, um, because of those reasons, I think that if I were buying these new, if I had none of these, and all things being equal, I would rather have Legend. If I, you know, right. I wouldn't pay a jacked up price Makes for this, sense. is what I'm trying to say. Exactly. I'd rather buy Legend from a discounter than buy this from eBay for like two or three times what it's that person paid for. It's a better compromise, exactly. Yeah, but that's how I would rate them if that was not an issue. All right. Fair so, enough. yeah, Invictus Aqua, 16, my favorite, then Legend intense and then uh 18 and the original in victus now i know that i ranked this super low but i do fully understand that this is a club killer it is a club killer <laughs> <laughs> big compliment puller night out kind of fragrance and the dna is everywhere it is so i mean the proof everywhere. is in the pudding as they say it truly is yeah people love this sells like a, a mofo as the kids say they don't actually say that, but but um, it sells. Some kid somewhere says it, but. So, yeah, somebody, somebody does. And um, I get it, I get yeah. it. When I smell it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get it. If I were, you know, 18 or something, and I wanted a, a loud fragrance, it's gonna draw attention, that's sweet, gonna get me compliments, that'd be one of them the to problem, go for. <laughs> it, it is, the problem I have with it, or that I had with it, and maybe you've had a similar experience, and some people will have a similar experience, is it's like a, a movie you hear about. It's fantastic, won awards, yada, yada, and you hear all this, but you haven't experienced it yourself, but then you do go out and experience it, and it's not what you thought it was. So there's a lot of buildup, a lot of expectation. Sure, it does what it does really well, but you know, owing to your personal taste, give a little bit of wiggle room, you might not like it as much as, as what you hear you about You mean like it. Bird Box? Bird Box, yeah, <laughs> that's a good example. Yeah, have you ever seen Bird Box? Where everybody was like, oh my God, it's the scariest thing I've ever awesome seen. Awesome commercial. And then you watch it and you're like, not necessarily the best. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, just give give some room for error there. Try it out yourself before you take someone else's word for it. Yeah, but, I do think Invictus Legend is an improvement. Legend is definitely. So, uh, that one, it, it's taking that DNA in a better direction for me, for my personal taste. No, I'm, I'm so, with you on that. Yeah, but that is our opinion on the Invictus line. Let us know what you think about these five. Where would you rank these five in terms of worst to best? Yeah. And uh, like I said, it, number five doesn't necessarily have to mean you hate it. It's just out of these. Out like, of these alternatives. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well guys, thanks so much for all of your support. Again, thanks to Tommy for joining me. Studio Sense, link in the description. And uh, see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys. See you guys.